any files inside a storage account is encrypted by default but that is not the case when it comes to a vm that is virtual machine i'm in my azure portal and i have already created a vm the operating system which runs on this particular vm is windows windows 10 pro but if you can just see the disk option here if you click on it you can see the encryption is not enabled for this particular VHD disk that we have here. In this video, what we are going to see is how we can actually encrypt this VHD file of our VM so that it can be more secured. Welcome to CBH Passion. Let's jump into the video. Only the standard VMs are allowed to do the encryption with a minimum of 2 GB of memory. So right now I have created a standard A1v2 VMs with a 2 GB of memory here. To do the encryption we have to create an Azure Key Vault. So where uh, we can actually create the keys and store the information. So but keep in mind that when you actually create an Azure Key Vault it should be in the same location where that VM is. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to do that process. So let's go to our resource group and now we can actually create a key vault. Click on create. The key vault name should be something related to the purpose of that key. So in this case that we can do something like AZ203 VM and uh, encrypt disk. So uh, keep in mind that uh, the region of this particular Azure key vault should be the same as uh, in your VM. So in my VM when I created the VM I had given West Europe as the region so I should select the same and pricing tire I can select the standard one now I can just click on review plus create now I will just click on create here you can see there are three things keys secret and certificate so click on the keys and click generate or import now the key name should be disk encryption i will leave remaining fields as it is now click on create button as we already have our vm running and also our key vault all we have to do is to encrypt the VHD file. To do that, we have, we have to run some PowerShell commands, which has been mentioned in the docs.microsoft in this URL. So I have already copied this particular command line. Here I'm setting all the variables like key vault name, resource group name, and VM name. As you all know that we do have an integrated cloud shell in our Azure portal. So all we have to do is to open that instance and run the commands. So let's click on the cloud shell. It will open a new PowerShell instance for you. Now a new instance of PowerShell has been created for you. Now we can actually copy all of our commands and run in our PowerShell instance. Now if you check the disk encryption key vault URL, this particular variable, let's see the content of that. It is null because in Microsoft Azure portal there is a bug so this is actually the the subscription context here is wrong I do have two Azure subscription with the same account here what happens is this Azure CLI or the cloud shell is actually taking the context or the storage account from my other subscription all I have to do is to set the context to this particular subscription I already have explained this in my stack overflow you can see that post here so this is what happened I was trying to run this commands and uh, this disk encryption key vault URL is always null because it wasn't connected to the actual subscription which I am I was using. So all I have to do is to run this set Azure RM context command with my subscription ID. I'm gonna do that for myself. 
and your subscription id will be different than mine now we have set the context to the actual subscription which i'm using now let's run the command again now just copy this variable name and check whether the value is being already assigned or not yes we do have a valid uri unique resource identifier now all we have to do is to run some more commands so this is our final commands which actually encrypt our vhd file in our vm So now it is asking for a permission. So this is saying that my VM which is actually running will be reboot as long as this process gets start. So let's give Y for this. As you can see that unfortunately we got an error saying that failed to send disk encryption data check key vault inputs. So go to our key vault. And click on the access policies and make sure that I show disk encryption for volume encryption. Now click on save. Now let's try the command again. That didn't work at all so we have to try a different fix that is going to the VM and click on the identity. Now we need to assign this status to on. Now save. Let's try the command again. As you can see we got a success message. So the status code is OK. Now let's go to our VM and see whether it is actually encrypted or not. So go to our VM and click on the disk. Now the encryption is enabled. I hope you found this video useful. If you like this video, please do subscribe to our channel. Please share your valuable feedback in the form of comment section below. I will see you in another video. Till then, signing off, Sibish Venu.